Sorry, I speak but too much. And for melee, melee has a different story. Melee tend to die really easily in, in insane games. Like, like, yeah, because they did die so badly. But there are some of the uh, tide, tide changing units that might change the course of the battle because they generally are quite important. For example, if we got two units shooting each other and that unit happened to be weak against melee, we just chuck one of these su hopefully suicidal, yeah, suicidal melees to distract them, get to to let them play out play out their weakest while well, they play out their strength. So the area they're weak at. For example like the melee suck so if a melee if a melee unit goes gets in turn then wait. So these guys, so we want these guys to go for it. These what is what they call it? All all greens. Yeah, all greens go for it. Well the guardsmen stand behind. He's then a then a range guy. We want these two guys to go forward and fight this twin spider. Is it spider? Yeah, spider. If we don't want them to tangle them. Yes, remember it's, it's called tangle and tangle them. We don't want them to distract our soldiers. Yes. So these guys are not the main killers. The main killers are these soldiers here. They are actually the main killers. So it's a typical. If you think of medieval tactics, it's the typical. Swordsmen at the front, archers at the back. So that's the common, just like the basic tactics. Okay, so these guys are the swordsmen. I want to, yeah. In modern warfare, like those are futuristic warfare, there are more archers than swordsmen. So you had to get around with the ideas anyway. So that like, we need to capture this so I can get my mighty bane blade. Are you doing your jobs, guys? Yes, you are. Okay. What else do I need to build? Let me last. One more heavy guns, heavy guns, whatever. Excuse me. All right, guys. There's another problem. Yes, real contention like to jam the people. So there are two ways that. What are you doing? Get back here. All right, you activate that piece of crap. So it's best to number your troops. I prefer recommend group one as the range, group two as the melee. And the third group will be the vehicles, and then the fourth group will be either artillery or important units that cannot die. For example, I can set my MG, and actually when I play Imperial Guard, I go group one range, group two is the melee. I don't, I think I'm gonna sign group two actually. So let's grab these two guys. That's group two. Group three is the, in this case, professionally play will be the MG emplacements. What's my? Yeah, these guys. These are group three, and they are the group four. Yeah. So basically, I have no support, heavy support units. So. I can build this crap anyway. So yeah, so I build this, shift, and like that. That's that's how simple is that. Just like a simple uh, play like that. Oh, this guy's not in F2, so make him F2, okay? Always check the F2. So if they got the question my way, uh, then let's go. Did I catch you a minute? No, I didn't. So if it's in melee, then just go for melee. Who cares? I mean, you always remember, playing Dawn of War is the these shooters or the archers are the main attack force. They are the main that wants to put out the DPS. So you just use the melee to tangle them out. Just, just tangle. Them. Why not? Just like the are getting busy. And vehicles can do that really well unless they have the list that says uh, highly effective against me and gets against them armor. Then you can help it. What are you guys doing? Go to the front. Nope, this is not preferable. See the guy. This next one, Lord here, is actually killing. But if the archer, if the archer mounts like too much, then the next one will basically suicide. So this is what this guy's doing. So if someone's attacking, like, attack, like um, attacking your squad, you just retreat and go into the crate like this one. Cover your heavy cover. Okay, this guy's coming up. No, he's not. He's dead. Unfortunately. Where's my other one? You guys are. If you have something like this, it's generally because the both vehicle and the human and the, and the person trying to make way for one another. They're trying to be kind, but actually they're not. Actually, they're handicapping you. They're making things relatively worse. If you had this thing happen, there's one thing. Firstly, or stop the man, stop the man, move the vehicle, and then or secondly, stop the vehicle, move the man. So either way, 
<laughs> because they both into and uh, got the golden sun and stalemate. The therefore, you need to find either way. So you either let the vehicle move first, or let the guide move second, or either vice versa. Otherwise, they'll just stuck there forever to your entertainment. Where the hell's that? What's my help? Oh, we have a tech piece inside the house. Yeah, that happens to do that when we're playing shift. Okay, that's my base construction, and then nothing more, I guess. And another thing, when you move them in a large group, like this large group here, they often become a little bit like if you want to position your troop really carefully. So at one time they're all going here, at one time they're going to the center of the crate or the center of the cover. You see how they posi position themselves? They're not entirely center because these guys aren't, and these guys aren't, only this guy is. So you can't go group one like this. It doesn't work. They just don't do it. So you just either go separate. They even go the, the separate way. Like my mouse is over here, yet they go here and here and here. So in order to prevent that happen, I'm sorry, you had to do the really traditional way. It's just like this way. So group one does that go over here. So you must select the squad one by one, like this, in order to cram them together. That's the only way to do so. Only way to do it, you can't go group 1 and right click, they just go separate themselves like an idiot. Okay? Vehicles are the same, vehicles don't generally don't do that. Vehicles are more tidier to be honest, they like to squeeze together, like to cuddle cuddle for some reason. Yeah, and some of the hotkeys have become a little bit faster because I hate pressing this button all the time, so I just like force myself to remember that hotkey is actually E. So these guys, I can go, <coughs> uh, listening post here. And then press some turrets, which is the U, because turret can be U instead of T. I can do that if I want to, but it's unnecessary because the AI is actually easy. I can just go up there, find them, annihilate them. Where's my other one? Now, I think I explained some of the basic stuff. Now, one final thing is that this is only introduction video, so. The next few videos will be introduction, addiction, introducing the tactics of playing as Dark Elder, Elder, um, Imperial Guard, Necrons, Space Marines, and Tau Empire. And unfortunately, I don't play other race, but I can probably, maybe if I can, make some attempts of doing that. Orc is the only race that I have really big trouble with, because I never play them, because I don't play them. I simply, I simply find it really too confusing, to be honest. And, and and yeah, and when you when let me say it this way, you need to make sure you know the strength and the weakness of each race that you play. So each race must have a weakness and uh, advantage. So some race, some people say it's just pure crap, which I believe not entirely true because some race, but although some race are redundant, which I have to agree, like the Dark Elder and Sister Battle, what the hell they're doing here? They just they just jump, they just crash into the party and then jump in with the other seven races saying oh look guys uh, uh welcome uh look guys we are here to make some fun and, and then yeah okay, I'm, I'm not a good joke time i'm not a good uh joker but just that like full scale saw for them for them the imperial guard a long time ago dark crusade was 400 400 400 precision 400 power and here's at the 450 rip off okay 450 each which is a rip off why? Because just in case so, just to balance out with the Dark Eld and it's just the battle. So everything got a bit expensive, that means that the other race ha are generally too weak. So, because of their weak quality, therefore my upgrades become more expensive. That's how I uh, interpreted it, so that's why I feel a bit pissed off. Because my upgrades are more expensive. So now with all the troops I've assembled, I'm going to be getting my salt. So I just go one, two, three, four, and then yeah. Again, use the same kind of two number two go forward, and then number four is okay up to you. But be careful, like pieces like Bane Blade, they they do blow up people up, and yeah. And if a unit has the capability of blowing someone down, it's a pretty good tactic as well. And pure gas, um, grenade launcher is actually is pretty powerful. It's knocking them down, so then. And then yeah. And also guys remember the morale the blue bar? Yeah, if the blue bar goes too low, don't feel free to execute someone. Oh my god, do not Okay. Well you know what I just go tank I just go I just go attack over here because I'll just let my MG guys kill you. Did this actually upgrade all the moment? 
That's just an action sign. It's not supposed to be all auto cannons. That's just an action. Woo! Woo! Why are you doing it? What are you doing it? What are you doing? Stop it! What are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. I told you you're not supposed to be here. Oh well, he can't be here because he got a relic. Okay, I don't care. Ah uh, yes, when yeah, some units there are tricks for like uh, ogres that have got to give them priest. Oh look, what the hell is this guy doing here? Yeah, thank God they got turrets here. You see, that's what I mean. If you got turrets at home, you just can't defend it just well. All your troops are outside, so that's how helpful they are. I just go upgrade. Might as well just block everything off with this. And build some mines if you want to, but I generally can't be stuffed with mines. But sometimes I will put mines. No, I lost an MG troop. God damn it. Did I lost a tank? Yeah, I did. I lost a Hellbell. Because I checked the pop and then realized the, the pop is actually not correct. Yeah, I got it. So you have to press R. Yeah, I'm pressing tab now, so it just cycle through, so that's a lot easier as well. Tab is also quite helpful. I also need a squad as well. Yeah. I lost this guy. And then we just build some of these crap. Yeah, yeah, next one sometimes is a pain. Move a bit. So that blood cannon blast hopefully can make lock them out so that it just disrupts the the squad formation. So hopefully if this guy has a morale, it will actually damage them pretty badly. So yeah, keep the morale up. And also MG, not MG squad. Holy crap. So I, I, I think uh, the Imperial Guard just sucks at attacking. It's like... Literally, I think it just sucks at it. I mean, or just me, I'm just too noob. <laughs> I still just like using tanks only, because tanks have no morale scaling. So therefore, like these guys see their blue bars are decreasing, which means they are actually somewhat ineffective. Morale, actually, when it, morale drains, it actually doesn't, they just don't fight properly, literally. They're, I've seen it once, I once used the leader spawn, and then he, just, he, he makes like no damage at all, with morale being low. And I've seen it myself, I, I feel like, I was like, rip off. Oh, you're back again, sure, I'll face you on. Oh my god, I'm taking much better heavy damage. Melee against uh, these guys are generally is a bad idea. The only way you can use melee against them is see all my blue buffs just recover instantly. Because I like the Imperial Guard recharging the morale. Although it's a little bit cruel, but for the greater good, shall we? Why not? Okay, I just lost, I just lost my melee guy. Yeah, this is good. Let me just let me die. Yeah, literally, this game is actually relatively easy compared to StarCraft and other RTS games. Okay, this guy's a little bit too much. Yeah, don't press them too much. You should. I recommend you execute mana from the full squad. There's only reinforced one, where this guy's been basically reinforcing. Well, that's in the next tutorial, which is like the. Um, or in the Imperial Guard tutorial. It tells you how to play, the, play this race uh, relatively professionally. So for the melee guys, oh, that's the XQ, oh, I need to destroy and then the game should be finished. If the melee is actually set to uh, um, the ground stance, where the hell's my troop? Where the hell's my leader guy? Oh, there you are. If the melee guy was so, so we all know every unit has this thing here. There should be either range or melee. And every unit have their melee 